Hi. I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for joining us in the comments section. And um, Stephanie, what's happening in the housing in your area? Where are you? I'm in Orlando, Florida, okay. about maybe, I'd say, an hour to the east of Disney World area. Okay, so you're, you're, you're closer to Jacksonville. Um, no, I'm not quite that far. I'm more be, um, because I decided I couldn't get a real paying job in the world. I had no choice but to return back to school mm -hmm. uh, when I should be retiring, I feel like. Or, of course, I'm not that old. But I was in the military, and I, I had skills, good skills, but I just didn't feel satisfaction, and I, I had to return back to school. So I'm in college now, and I'm trying to get my uh, – master's degree and um you know things are going well but i i had to uproot from california mm -hmm. to um orlando because my studio one bedroom or not even one bedroom but a studio apartment in southern california shot up to over eighteen hundred dollars a month for 456 square feet well 1800 pesos or dollars dollars oh my goodness yeah, oh, oh my and goodness. I was I was commuting. I was going to um, USC, which is downtown, just south of downtown LA, uh, not far from Skid Row, mind you. Uh, and so I was doing almost two hours, or I'd say four hours traffic round trip every day. And you know, in LA, there's no real transportation there. Mm -hmm. There's no transportation. You have to commute in a car. So I was leaving my house at four in the morning and not getting home till midnight every day going to school what? and I did that for for yeah I did that for one semester and I said I can't do this anymore I need to uh, I, I need to rethink this so I, I applied and I got accepted here in Florida the University of Central Florida uh, to um, yeah to be in the film department and make movies and get my scripts to come alive and be mm -hmm. in the theater soon I hope yeah well I hope that that, that 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 goes your way I mean everyone starts out somewhere right yes but you know I have been following this since uh, this housing market situation debacle since 2008. Mm -hmm. That is when I ended up, or right just before it actually happened, I ended up homeless. I had no, I had to go bankrupt. Um, I had an okay job working for the state of California, but you know, out there it's very expensive and. Sadly, I went through a divorce, you know how that goes, but um, I had little or no money, and I had roommates, and I, they kept stiffing me on the rent, you know, having to cough up fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600 a month, and I just couldn't do it anymore, so I, I ended up homeless, and I had my car repoed, I had to go bankrupt, and I ended up sleeping on a friend's sofa whose house went into foreclosure. Um, we eventually had to vacate, <laughs> but... Then and there, I just, I had this rude awakening that this is not right. Something is wrong. I need to find out what's going on and prepare because I had a feeling in my spirit something else was going to happen, that this situation had not been corrected, mm -hmm. especially in the Southern California area. Um, more than about, my area had increased from about 30 to 35% Asian population to mm -hmm. 75%. Wow. And all the businesses were turning into languages I didn't understand. And I said, there's a problem here. We're getting bought out and sold out in this country. Something is wrong. Mm -hmm. um, well, and that's basically, that's when I got into astrology. Because I said, oh, now I get it. Now I see what's happening. Now I understand everything I've gone through in my life and where I'm going and what I'm supposed to be doing so that I'm better prepared in the future. And I tell you, Mike, I'm not kidding you, and I would have no reason to lie or spread fear other to make everybody prepared, all your listeners. Mm -hmm. But by June and July of next year, we are going to have a serious housing crisis and crash. People are going to lose more than half to three quarters of the value of their houses. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's not going to be cool. Uh, I would say definitely after the interest rates get hiked up in January of 2019, by March, 
when the south and the north nodes change into different signs Mm -hmm. every 18 and a half years this has happened dating way back in time during the the bombing of hiroshima then they had jfk who was assassinated um no he was he was murdered he wasn't assassinated he was murdered well yeah, yeah, you're right. He was murdered. We had that. That's when that the notes had switched. And then Reagan, even, we had an attempted assassination on his life back in the 80s, early 80s. That was twice or thrice, right? Right. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, but they meant to kill him, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but, and then if you don't recall, sadly, we had the 9-11 with mm-hmm. the towers coming down. Right. And mind you, if you, you look over history, after every crisis that we've had financially, to take our attention off of that, we've always had some kind of uh, event or war or something to take people's attention off of their pocketbooks and what's happening. And so that behind the scenes, the Federal Reserve is is figuring out the next game plan so that they can come in and swoop in and take everybody's property and uh, be the savior, you know, while these wars are taking place. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's manipulated. It is. It's, it's nothing totally... but it's, it's, well, it, we live in, the United States of America is an oligarchy. There's mm-hmm. just no two ways about it. But, we uh, live in an oligarchy. But you guys, you guys for, for the longest time were one of the luckiest nations, especially when Andrew Jackson was your president. When he abolished the entire banking system and dismantled it, and sent it to hell, and then precisely, and yeah. Trump has a picture of Jackson in his office because again, and why do you think why do you think JFK was assassinated? JFK was assassinated because he wanted us to do he wanted to do away with the Federal Reserve. That's right, and he made that clear, and also because he was not a member of the Masons. He refused to join the Masons, mm-hmm. and it was a matter of time, well, John not F- even, I would say, well, John days. Well, F- John F. Kennedy was Catholic, right? So he wouldn't join the Masons. Exactly. So. But, but you know, here, um, Donald Trump is trying to do away with the Federal Reserve. He's playing their game right now, and though it may look... It, Donald Trump is not a stupid man. Donald Trump is a fine... He's a businessman. He knows what's going on. He sees that trade has not been fair with China for a number of years. And now with this housing market debacle, um, you know, the Federal Reserve has manipulated the economy around the world, not just in the United States, but worldwide, as you're well pointing out. Mm -hmm. You know what? And astrology confirms all this. And I'm telling you, Mike... We're going to go through a reset, and I'm telling you, the dollar is going to crash. And as soon as these bonds, I talked to a, a friend that I know that is very smart. He's on Wall Street. He tells me as soon as the bond market starts going bye-bye and these bonds start getting sold, yep. and, and as soon as that happens, game over. I mean, we're going into a worldwide crisis, not just in the United States, because you, the U.S. dollar is the, the main currency that the world turns to. But we are going to go into, it's going to be war. It's going to be sad. But, you know, Mike, we didn't have our reset back in 2008. No, like it was partial. It was partial. It was partial. There was bail-ins, and then there was a lot of uh, pensions were lost, and a lot of people's savings were uh, it just it, it was a partial. It wasn't a full full blown uh, 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 reset. That's the problem. Precisely, and people have uh, you know we we in the United States and as well as Canada we we don't make anything anymore. And you see, our saving grace from World War One, World War Two, the Roaring Twenties was manufacturing. Mm-hmm. And now that China has absorbed everything, we have nothing to fall back on. Well, there's any one longer. thing. There's one thing. What well, I keep bringing this up on my show, but do you know at the turn of the century, one out of three things in the world was made in America? Exactly. And do you know you that see? Donald Trump's passing one bill that I really hope he passes, and this is going to help home businesses across America and potentially in Canada too. He's looking at scrapping the cheap uh, mailing from China, cheap mailing 
wholesale mailing. So people that sell from home in China that are mailing out junk in the factory they, they, they live in, they're mailing out this junk and they're only paying a dollar to ship to America when we're paying $15, $20 to ship to the next province or state. He's going to scrap that from China and that cheap, uh, um, what do you call it, mailing. Um, I, I brought it up the other day, the article, and if he passes that bill, it's going to help a lot of small businesses in Canada and the United States operate from home and actually compete with shipping from China now. Well, he, he needs to do something, Mike, and he's the only sitting president. People cannot like him all they want. Mm-hmm. I don't. I wouldn't say I love him. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to vote this past election because I was in between moving from California to uh, Florida, um, and so I wasn't able to vote. Unfortunately, I wasn't registered here when I was here, and I wasn't able to go back in California and vote, so I didn't get to vote. But I'm telling you, people, the media is full of garbage. Oh, we know that. They know, yeah. they, they know they're full of garbage because everybody I talk to, they're just, they want their jobs back. You know, and the, the pay, people's pay has only gone up maybe $600 in 10 years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and then look how much taxes cost now, how much, you know, and how much the cost of food and the cost of a house. And I mean, in California, mind you, I'm a military veteran, and I I was laughed at. Every time I would go to an auction to bid on a house, I was laughed at. They wanted a half a million dollars down. I said, basically, they wanted me to pay cash for the house. I said, but I'm a military veteran. I have a pre-approval. And they said, well, we're sorry, but you've been outbid. You don't have cash. And there would be like 10 different foreign people standing there with bags of cash, Mm -hmm. check in hand. I'm like, you know what? I can't compete with this. I just, I basically, I got run out of California. I had lived there. You're not, it's not just, you know what? Hand to God, it's probably the best thing because California is turning into a really bad uh, cesspool. It's, re- I'm, re- I'm happy you're out of there and you're in the state of, mm-hmm. state of Florida is amazing. Believe me, state of Florida is great. Uh, I mean, it's got potential. It's, it's got lots of room for growth. It's still affordable. Housing prices are dipping right now, like 20, 30% down right now from last year. And mm-hmm. there is potential there to grow. Believe me, there's potential. You just have to play your right cards. You got to play your trump card at the right time. Well, yeah, and the, the one the one bedrooms here two two years ago they were going for maybe nine hundred dollars mm-hmm. close by campus. Unfortunately, those same one bedrooms are now going for around twelve hundred dollars. Which I know to some people that's not much of a jump, but when you're a college student, that's a lot of money. <laughs> you yeah, know? it's like you know I'm trying to watch every penny I can without going into huge student loan debt. Mm-hmm. Even though the military, I have my benefits helping me pay to go to college, mm-hmm. but um, and I don't have to sim- sit for four hours of in traffic every day. So. <laughs> that was a night. So we're, what I'm going to do is I want to I want to have you on Mike in the Night Show uh, on Saturdays when we talk about broader topics outside of housing, and mm-hmm. I'll, I'll have you as our uh, astro uh, astrological or astronomer. Uh, and then if there's a topic, a really hot topic that we're covering, I'll give you forewarning of, on pulling an astro- astrological chart on something or somebody that we're talking mm-hmm. about in, the, in, in, in whatever topic that's going on. And then okay. we could go over it together and you could explain wh- where things are headed for that person um, in the future potentially. Yes, because it does make a big difference. Right now in the U.S.'s chart, I mean, there's been different astrologers around the world. I, go, I don't go by the Western tropical system, mm-hmm. which is based on seasons. I go by the, the Siberial, the true placement of where these planets are actually at, where even the, the uh, astronauts, the astronomers say, okay, Jupiter's in Scorpio right now, mm-hmm. you know, and, and Saturn is in Sagittarius, where the Western astrologers saying, oh, well, Jupiter's almost going into Sagittarius, and Saturn is truly in Capricorn. No, mm-hmm. that's based on seasons that's not the true accurate placement Mm -hmm. of it they have their own system i don't go by that system the 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 vedic astrology it dates back to thousands of years back into the hindus Mm -hmm. uh how they how they used to how the wise men uh how they were able to find and you know um 
find the North Star and find Jesus and, you know, all this. That's that's how they were able. They went by, they didn't have compasses back in the day, well, that's, you know. that's what the Portuguese used when they were sailing across uh, from, uh, when they sailed across way before the Spanish did. And they were using stars to navigate. And that's how they, mm-hmm. a lot of their, their astro, astrological charts are still being used today. Yes, and if people can believe believe it or not, all they want, I'm just letting you know, I was somewhat skeptical in the beginning, but I had a really good um, astrology teacher that helped me, and they confirmed everything about my life, and I got my jaw was dropping. I didn't have to tell them anything. They could just look at my chart and go, okay, this happened, this happened, this. I go, oh, my God, mm-hmm. how did you know that? And well, you're like this and this and this, and I'm like, oh, my God, how did you know that? Okay. It's, ri- it's written. Your chart is based on your blueprint. It's... It's who you are. It's like your thumbprint, your own unique thumbprint based on your ascendant, your moon sign, your sun sign, where your planet Mars is, all this stuff. Okay. See, you, I can probably look at you and I can go, okay, Mike, I think you're, you're a cancer ascendant. I can tell you right now. And you're probably, you're a cancer, not only just a cancer ascendant, you were born in the, you have the nakshatra of Pusha, which is... The great wealthy one, but if you get married before you're 35 years of age, you will. It will lead to divorce. Wow. But but that right now, if you're because if your wife is pregnant, see Jupiter is in your fifth house, mm-hmm. which means pregnancy, which means children, which means potentially if you have this child, beware unless you want more kids. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Potentially your wife could get pregnant again. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll be, I'll, I'll be careful with being in the fifth house. You can have another child on the way. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, I'll be I'll be very careful with that. Anyways, I'm gonna let you go because we're gonna have you on Mike of the Night, so we could do a uh, we could we could start from the beginning of the whole astrology thing with you, and we could discuss different things and events that you see forthcoming with us. So I want to thank you for coming on, and I'll have you on Saturday Night Show when we have more a broader topic and a more uh, you know more more to talk about when it comes outside of housing. Okay. Yes, because I have some predictions to make, and as I told you, by August of next year, it would definitely behoove you to be invested in oil and gas, because it will be, the price of oil and gas will be going up. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I invested a ton of oil in oil and gas today. That is awesome. You're going to be, it's going to go a little up and down, but I'm telling you, in the long term, oil and gas, it's, it's going to be where it's at. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, uh, stay strong and keep us posted on how you're doing, okay? I will, and you said possibly on Saturday? Yeah, Mike of the Night. We'll have you on, okay? Around what time? Because I'm like a three oh, hour difference yeah, I from forgot you on the about, East Coast. Yeah, yeah, because I started around 9 p.m. my time. It's like really late. So just message me in the comment section if you're if you're awake, okay? I'm usually awake. I... I have some schoolwork to do this weekend, and I may be going to Disney World yes. uh, for Halloween trick or treating. You know. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Okay. But either way, I would. It's usually fireworks and all that are done with by eleven, twelve. So, um, I would give you a call or message you, letting you know. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Stephanie. All right. God bless. God Mike. bless you. you. Take care. Good night. All right. Bye bye. Bye. So, the guys, that's our uh, astrological uh, reader, um, and she'll be on the mic in the night going uh, forward. Uh, she had a very interesting housing story to share with us, how she left California, moved to um, moved to Florida, now outside of Orlando. Uh, 